For this exercise, we're going to create a bit more complex class. We're going to create a class that includes an array as part of a variable. So let's take a look at how this class is going to be defined. We're going to call this class the student class. So we start off with class student. Our initialize function will take two parameters, name and ID. And we're going to include a third field, grades, which is going to be an array. And it will be initially an empty array, so we don't have to use a parameter for that. And we'll have the user add grades later on. The toString method will look like this. Now the next thing we need is a method for adding a grade to an instance of our class. So we'll create a method called addGrade. We need to add a parameter to our definition like that. And then finally we'd also like to add a way to show the student's average of all their grades since we're going to be storing multiple grades in the array. So we're going to create a grade average method next. So we'll end our class definition there and let's go ahead and create an instance of our student class to see if it works. After we created the new object, S1, we also added two grades to the object so that in the grades array we now have a 90 and an 80. Now let's display the current state of the object with two string. And let's take a look at our program so far. So the name is Mary Smith, the ID is 123. And the grades are 90 and 80. We probably could have put a heading there, but I didn't do that, so that's okay. Now let's display the average. So we'll save the program again. And so indeed, the average of 90 and 80 is 85. So as you can see, we can store complex or relatively complex data in a class as well as simple atomic data like a single string or a single number, something like that. So that wraps up the second exercise on working with classes in Ruby. And we're going to move on to the third exercise where we're going to create a shape class, which we're also going to use as the basis for our work in the next chapter where we're going to talk about inheritance, where we create classes that inherit properties and methods of other classes. And we're going to use the shape class as what's known as a base class to build other types of shapes, such as rectangles and circles. So in this next exercise, we're going to create the shape class.